Hey guys, Tom Trams with Linux MCE again. Just wanted to do a quick little demonstration actually now that I've got my squeeze box and everything set up in the kitchen. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and set some things up. First of all, I've got some music playing in here in the living room. Uh, it's some can from Viga Bamyasi. Just kind of chill in here. And I'm going to go into the kitchen for a bit and do some cooking. Well, for now, I've got my orbiter right next to me here, and I'll just do it here. As we can see, my orbiter display here with my music playing. Playlist over here, and then all I really need to do is leave for a second, go to the floor plan. Now on the floor plan, we actually see we've got my music that's playing here, and we've got two zones here in the house. The first is my media director. The second is my squeeze box here in the kitchen. Now I'm going to go ahead and just select the squeeze box here in the kitchen, and you'll see that my kitchen is now selected, and I'll select the media. Now with a little bit of work here, we'll see that the media is now playing, you may be able to hear it, is now playing in the kitchen. And now with that, let's go off to the kitchen. <clears throat> And here is my kitchen setup. In the middle we have uh, the um, speakers that I have temporarily set up just to prove the concept. To the left here we have our wonderful squeeze box for Vision 3. And here we have our orbiter. Another orbiter that I have just set up here running in the kitchen. Now the nice thing about the squeeze box is that the squeeze box is just another media player inside the system. And you select and manipulate it exactly the same way. In fact, you can put up the squeeze box remote control and not use it again. And simply use your existing orbiters inside the house to control it. For example, right now I have a playlist set up here with a few songs. I'm going to go ahead and select one of them. And as we can see automatically updated here too. Of course, we have volume control. And mute. And we can manipulate and go up and down as we need to. Rather nice, I think. So, yeah, and once again, all I had to do to set this up was literally drop this guy on the network. As you can see here, I have one connection going into my stereo, no ethernet, I'm actually using it over wireless. So it was very easy to set up. No problem at all. And once again, before I leave, here is a nice full shot of the entire setup. What do you think, guys? Until next time, I'm out.